might be a cop out, but it just comes back to how early this asset class is. At some point, I do think that there will be a recession that's an inflationary recession where investors flock to something like a digital gold. Mm. Some will go to gold, some will go to a digital gold. And that right now would be Bitcoin if we saw an event like that. Um, now, whether that will happen, you know, if, if I knew how to buy the bottom and sell the top every time that this market has moved, then I, I wouldn't be here. I'd be on the beach. Um, but uh, maybe you can show me the way after. Yeah. You said break. something uh, interesting about Ether and this sort of distributed platform from capital raising. Mm -hmm. And that's good on the way up, but a lot of people have been talking about this phenomenon on the way down, where a lot of projects have treasuries, have all, a lot of money in Ether, and then as the price goes down, they see their runway of yes. collapse, yes. and then that for forces further liquidations because they got to pay their developers, and then that reduces the runway for everyone else, and you have this spiral. Is that process real? And if so, oh, yeah. uh, how far along are we in that sort of, essentially the opposite of the uh, capital raise period? I think everybody's trying to figure out that the answer to that exact question. Uh, you know, one of the things that we're working on at Masari is, is driving transparency standards for many of these projects that did raise money. And one of the key inputs there is what does their ongoing treasury look like, right? You, you only hear about teams' treasuries after they're laying people off and they say, we have 12 months, we have 18 months. Right. And we've seen that with a few projects that didn't really manage their treasuries appropriately. Yeah. How pervasive that was and is, uh, I, I still don't think we have a full grasp on. What I do think is interesting is, uh, will this religious community of supporters that have developed mm -hmm. around this Ethereum ecosystem, um, this is a, a, a pretty uh, difficult battle that they need to overcome. Right. And, and, and are they really true believers that'll get through the, the trough here? Or will you start to see some defections to other more stable, well-capitalized projects that might start a little bit more centralized? EOS is a perfect example. The Affinity, Cosmos, which is another project, mm. both are, are, are private now, but will come online in 2019. Will developers start using those other blockchains because Ethereum has gone so low and it's become insecure? There was this talk, I remember, 2017, 2018, that VC was going to be dead. So I am going to continue to buy Ethereum because I do believe that although there's alternatives to Ethereum, it's they're I mean they just mentioned it they're not going to even be tested and live until 2019 and then there's going to be so many bugs and so many issues that uh, I would still pay attention to other projects but but I do feel like because Ethereum has been able to move and um, ha is is still the only uh, blockchain uh, out there with its uh, you know with an actual live product. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. And like I said, the price is corrected so much for Ethereum that I think it's a great deal and a great buy. But like I said, you could be buying into AOL or a falling knife. So be careful. I, I, I do feel like it's something important to pay attention to. And let me know your thoughts on this. And I will talk to you soon.